so today we'll be looking at the chain of responsibility design pattern this is a very very interesting design pattern in this design pattern we are having um, let us uh, look at the diagram of this first so here is the client it is sending a request so this is the chain of responsibility on this chain of responsibility lie a lot of processing elements that is uh, various handlers for handling this single request so the client uh, talks to the processing element 1 and gives it the request so whatever it can do it will do for the request and it will pass it pass the request to processing element 2 again whatever it can uh, do for the request it will do and it will pass to the next element and it will keep on passing on this chain and when everything is done if there is a response uh, if uh, it was let's say a database updation query then there is no response we just need to update uh, the data in our database that's all we are done but if there is a response attached with it then uh, the response will travel backwards okay so now let's look at the code for it okay so uh, this is the code so this is the abstract class chef okay so this chef is basically representing what we uh, called a processing element in the diagram so chef is one who processes a request and our request which we are talking about is a food request so the customer orders some food and the chef prepares it so each chef can have a successor chef so we will be talking about chop chef one who chops the vegetables cook chef one who cooks the vegetables and serve chef one who sh serves the vegetables okay so you can uh, take the chef as a general so all three inherit from it okay so each chef has a successor chef okay successor chef and chef has some uh, properties like get task what is the task of the chef chopping or serving etc this some description of the task some uh, simple sentence which is describing its uh, job his job uh, there is a set successor method simple setter for this uh, successor uh, field and uh, there is a important method which is the process request method let's look at this method clearly so if our request needs action according to this chef's task so get task will let us know this chef's task the current chef's task and if our request needs action on that uh, task then we uh, print that task and uh, basically uh, printing uh, like if the task is chop then chopping and the raw material name okay that is let's say reddish we are chopping so chopping reddish we are printing so you can do anything here you can do the actual chopping logic also here etc again uh, I have written a line if successor is not equal to null so if my successor chef is not equal to null that means one more chef lies after me so after chopping I have to pass to a cook chef and after cooking I have to pass to a serve chef but after serve chef there is no successor so if successor is is null in that case so we need not pass the material to the next chef so if successor is not equal to null then only I pass it to a next chef okay and so here I am printing it that I am passing and here I am doing the actual passing and if uh, I'm I don't have any successor then I print this line of stars which means uh, 
the recipe preparation is done because there is no further successor chef we are done with preparing the recipe okay now we have seen the base class which is the most important one we quickly look at the chop chef it implements the get task as chopp because in chopping i have to print here get task plus ing right so i have written the spelling as chopp okay <clears throat> and similarly get description will return two chopped vegetables that is the job of this uh, chef again cook chef it returns cook so it will become cooking there task is cook and description is to cook vegetables serve chef uh, task is serve becomes ing serving okay and description is this okay now let's look at the other classes the first one of the uh, other classes is the food request class so whatever food we request it has a recipe name that is the final dish which we are going to prepare uh, for example and the raw material name for example the raw material can be potato and the recipe can be boiled potato etc so we are preparing the recipe out of the raw material so these two attributes are there then uh we are having an map action required which is a hash map of strings map to booleans so these three strings are there cook uh, chop cook and serve so these booleans represent whether they are required or not so if these boolean is false so chop boolean is false that means that recipe need not require chopping of vegetables if this chop is true that means that particular recipe requires chopping of the vegetable similarly for cooking and serving so when we are asked uh, whether that vegetable needs action for a particular task like uh, uh, that vegetable needs to be the task may be cook okay so whether the current food needs to be cooked we look up this map which we have initialized in our constructor and we get the task so this boolean we get and we return it so it can be true or false as it is set by the uh, client so basically let's look at the customer class to get a feel of how it is happening so we are creating some chefs please look carefully chop chef cook chef and serve chef i am creating three chefs okay uh, my next step is to assign successor to each of them so i am assigning uh, chop chef its successor as cook chef cook chef i am assigning its successor as serve chef and obviously serve chef doesn't have any uh, successor so i assume serving is the final step so its successor is null by default now let's get some customer or client requests in our queue so we maintain a queue of food request so this is a basically layer link list so we add new food requests in that queue so first is salad this is the salad uh, salad is the final recipe name so as we can see in uh, this constructor the first is recipe name other is raw material name and then these three booleans so basically let's quickly look at this salad is the recipe name radish is the raw material we require for this recipe true means chopping is required second boolean is false that means cooking is not required for salad third is true that means serving is required and similarly for boiled potato and chonk chonk is in india a uh, intermediate uh, recipe which is required to prepare pulses etc so no serving is required in this also jeera is a simple uh spice so it need not require to be chopped only cooking is required for that 
let's prepare some food after all so while queue is not empty we prep, uh, we call chop chef dot process request queue dot remove we remove one by one and process the request so chop chef which is the root is talking point for a client so a client talks to the uh, chop chef the chop chef does it its own work and passes the request to the uh, cook chef cook chef does it work and passes it to the serve chef and